Good morning, everybody. So thank you very much again for all the different messages that I receive for this new year. And for you uh, also, I uh, have, have to tell you again my best wishes for this new year 2024. Okay, let's go. And like, as I told you last last uh, month, not say last year, I told you that I will show you in detail the different uh, step of our project that, that we intend to deploy. Okay, so let's see the designer of our of the different of the project that we intend to deploy in our infrastructure. It will be open stack infrastructure, how our infrastructure as a service, and over this uh, infrastructure, we intend to deploy the uh, platform as a service, uh, which will really be uh, the OpenShift platform. And uh, this one, this both will be uh, the open stack, will be a Red Hat open stack platform will be based on the version. Uh, 70 and dot one and the open shift will be based on the version uh, 4 dot uh, um, 14 okay so as you can see I have uh, the the open stack layer will be on the director the director will be uh, the, the the components that we have been has to deploy our over cloud okay so the director will be our under cloud okay it will be the under cloud and uh, this one will be our over cloud and how over cloud which will be an op another open uh, open stack uh, layer okay we will be have we will have a, the compute nodes we have a controller node we have also self storage have a backend storage and um, both controller uh, will be virtualized okay i will show you uh, why and uh, the compute compute node will be a physical node okay and uh, regarding the self self node i will have only one uh, physical node self here I have, uh, I have drawn uh, three, but uh, three. But here I uh, actually I have uh, one node for the self storage. Okay, so I will have only one self storage for the, uh, for my, my deployments. Okay, regarding the open shifter, this open shifter layer will be based on virtual machines that would be that has, that should be uh, deployed on our uh, over cloud. Okay. And uh, we'll have the uh, deployment will be autom uh, automated. So I, I will show you later how I did that. But uh, when uh, after deployment, we have uh, three uh, master nodes and we have a uh, one worker node. Okay, here we can see two, but uh, actually I uh, have uh, one one worker node. Okay, and uh, regarding the uh, storage, I will have uh, we configure the OpenShift Data Foundation. Okay, this data OpenShift Data Foundation will be configured. Uh, uh, into external mode configuration okay so this means that uh, this uh, odf will be connected to our safe storage okay so let's uh, go ahead regarding uh, the uh, racking plan i just going back to the to the racking plan that i use just to show you in detail what you have you have done mm -hmm. yeah it, maybe it, it remembers you some, some things, okay? This, we have the Cisco switch here. We have a physical node that you can uh, see here. I already, uh, in my previous video, I have shown you, I have shown you the different uh, nodes, those nodes. This first node will be our virtualizer controller node, okay? So I will have to virtualize this one to deploy my three uh, controllers nodes. This one will be our compute node, so I will have only one uh, at first steps. I will have only one physical compute node, okay? So I can because uh, if uh, I can deploy uh, OpenShift uh, virtualize on a virtualized compute node, it's be a bit difficult, and I get some issue when I try to do that. So my advice to you to use uh, a physical node to do that. Okay, so here we have uh, this computer compute node, physical compute node, compute node, and uh, regarding the self storage, I will have only one self storage physical storage node. So to do that, I will, uh, uh, as you, you know, by default, uh, the number of replica of a self storage is three and uh, the failure domain is on host. That means that uh, I have only one uh, host, my uh, my self storage will be uh, launch me on uh, warning uh, after deployment. So to do after deployment uh, to uh, avoid this warning, I will change the failure domain from host to OSD just to escape, escape of the warning that I received from from from, from, from safe, safe, safe parts. Great. So here it is the different of the, cab, the writing plan that I've used. And this one, again, this one will be a strategic node in my for my deployment. This one will also visualize this node. I, I will I will intend to visualize this node and uh, this will be a visualizer 
uh, in on purpose. Okay, so this uh, node will be visualized. Okay, and uh, I will have uh, three uh, virtual machine over this node. The first virtual machine will be our undercloud. Okay, and the second undercloud of the director, and the second one will be uh, it, an utility node. And this utility node, I will deploy a DNS or uh, NTP services, and it should, be, it should be also the gateway of all of OpenStack infrastructure. Okay, and the, the, the third node will be our Windows uh, machine. This window machine to permit, will permit me to have access to this entire uh, will permit me to manage this entire infrastructure. Okay, remotely if I'm on, uh, at home or uh, I'm on travel or somewhere over the world. Okay. So it is really of the purpose of this Windows machine. So let's uh, go to the other layer. So here is how the, the platform will be uh, recovering, uh, the, how the, I will have I will intend to connect to the different nodes of Rover, Rover um, switch. Okay. So I have uh, this one, this stencil image is not very uh, uh, conform to the reality, but here we have, by default, I have two um, ports, physical ports, Ethernet port on this uh, uh, node, okay? On this node, I have by default two, two Ethernet ports, okay? One will be connected to one port on this uh, switch, and uh, this port will be, conf uh, I will conf configure a uh, VLAN on this uh, Port, okay, and this VLAN will be, will be the same VLAN where I will have access to, to the internet. Okay, so this permits me to have access to the internet. And um, next, uh, this port will be our it will be bridge port because how this node will be visualized, I will connect, I will deploy a, a, a bridge. Okay, this bridge will be connect direct will be connected directly to this switch. Okay, and uh, on this port, I will connect the tagged and untagged uh, VLAN. This is where the magic will happen to permit the undercloud to uh, to manage all those nodes. Okay, through the API, uh, API to shut down the, to have access to, to the ELO of the different nodes. It will be the uh, uh, the configuration that I will do, do here in those these specific ports. Okay, I will show you also uh, on, on the time. Okay, next step. So what I will do is uh, I have to connect all to the different nodes here. Okay, the three nodes to this switch also. We have uh, the ELO interface, the HP ELO interface will be connected connect to this switch. Okay, and uh, we have uh, the, the LOM interfaces. Okay, the fourth LOM interface will be connected, connected on, the, on this switch also. Okay, so it should be the same for all those ones. This one just I will just represent the fact that in this node I intend to have uh, the uh, the compute node where the different virtual machine will be uh, located. Okay, with this one for instance it will be my self storage. Okay, and this last one will be the um, controller node. Okay, but we have some coupling which is not uh, very mandatory because uh, uh, we have uh, for self storage I will just show you why. But uh, let's move on. Let's go on the on the different node, okay? On the our 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 deployment our target uh, deployment, okay? I will connect. So I will first connect on this node on the Windows machine that I deploy over this node, okay? Let's go here. As you can see, I'm on hit, okay? On, I'm on the Windows machine now, and right now we can see my uh, cluster, the self cluster, uh, which is here where I, where I have the different instances here. As you can see, we have the master's node and the worker's node, the one worker node deployed automatically. Okay, I will show you how and why. And uh, here, after that, let me show you the, uh, the self storage, okay, that has been deployed also in my environment. We have uh, only one self storage, as you can see, okay, only one self storage. And uh, we have also three uh, controllers node, okay? As you can see, we have three controllers node. And we were, in this controller node is where the different monitor manager and so on will be uh, connected, will be deployed, okay? As, as, as you can uh, notice, okay? And we have uh, four OSD. Let me show you the OSD part. Okay. We have a different OSD here in my uh, self-storage and the I have configured this OSD, I uh, have an HDD uh, drive and, so, and also the 
SSD drive. The SSD, SSD driver will, has been configured for the whole okay, uh, partition. And uh, we have also the RockDB uh, partition that has been configured on another, uh, another um, SSD drive just to improve the performance of, the, of this OSD. Because by default, uh, this, is, is, this, uh, this uh, the data has been located on the on the mechanical drive. So to increase the performance of this OSD, I've configured the, an SSD to be the wall and uh, another SSD to be the RockDB. So let's move on. Regarding the OpenShift, let me uh, let's show you the OpenShift part. Yeah, I have configured, as you can see, I have deployed the OpenShift over my this infrastructure. And uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, the OpenShift Data Foundation that has been also deployed right now in my in this uh, infrastructure and is connected to the as you can OCS external storage a cluster uh, external storage cluster okay which, which is connected to the Ceph, Ceph uh, cluster so this is definitely something very interesting that we I would like to show you and uh, if you have any questions or, or any comment or please uh, do not hesitate uh, figment me it helped me to uh, it can encourage myself to do more and uh, it has us also has uh, here at Intelligent Intelligent to give you much more confidence like that. And uh, let's let's see where it is uh, to the guide us uh, to be. So thank you very much, and do not hesitate to to share, comment, or uh, and or like of this uh, video. And I will intend to share with you much more content like that uh, in the next uh, days. Okay. So thank you very much, and bye from now.